causing a commotion? Who's that? Is TV in motion? Hurry up! You better make haste, there's no time to waste, it's... Stevie, Stevie, Stevie! In motion! Good morning! My butt is as sore as can be. Oh, and now I'm walking upstairs and it's not helping. I was doing so many lunges in my workout yesterday, and all the way from my butt to my knees, man, is basically not functioning this morning. <laughs> so, I guess I'll have to deal with that. But it's not a bad thing that I'm in pain because soreness after a workout means you had a successful workout, as far as I know. I'm not one who likes to complain about stuff, but guys, give me a mulligan, okay? I'm just having a really bad week. Like, it's been rough, to be honest. I, I'm not doing well physically. I'm sick and I'm sore. And I'm not doing well emotionally because I'm tired and overwhelmed. And it's just been rough, okay? But I'm just trying to get through it. To see those people in the chat tunnel, they were totally staring me down. They were like on the other side of the street and they were afraid to come up to me because they thought I was a little weird for blogging. I can't wait till I'm famous on my blog and then I can be like, oh guys, I'm famous on the internet. It's okay. But I can't say that now because it'd be a lie. <laughs> Question of the day. When you're stuck in a rut, what do you do to get out of it? For me, I have no idea. That's why I'm asking. This is Lindsay's day planner. It's gotta be the coolest day planner I've ever seen. Thanks. Where did you Should get I it? Should I do a little infomercial? My sister bought it in Japan. Okay. Yeah, sell and me on it. It's like Lego, so I can just make sure no one reads my secrets. That's awesome. I shouldn't have told everyone my butt is so sore because everyone's been spanking me all day, even you and It's been rough. Rough day. Joyzy! Stop it! Joyzy! Joyzy! Are you recording? Yeah, it is! Damn it! Don't be sending me on Facebook so I didn't know what you're doing. Okay, okay, next week, definitely do some Thursday. I'm gonna fist pump to my friggin' off also. That's gross. I'm a professional. You're late! <laughs> yeah, I'm actually a Pepsi fan. Hey, don't zoom in on me and think I don't know. How do you can he tell? How did he tell? I know everything. Why did, why did Mike have your belt? Just what situation happened where he was in possession of the thing that holds up your pants? Well, you know, I took it off. I looked down and it's gone. Because... Did Mike take it off? No, I took it off. Okay. But he was waiting. Just checking. He was waiting to pounce and take Just my belt. Checking. He was waiting to pounce on your butt? On my belt. After he removed it. Yeah, as soon as it was gone, he took it. And I'm sure that's not the only thing he wanted to take there's off. So many, there's so many double sexual innuendos that go. He wanted to hold it against belt. me. He wanted to hold your belt against you as he pulled your pants down your ankles. Okay, Stevie, whatever helps you sleep. And you guys don't even know about my other song, Canadian Girls. Really? Wait, there's a second song? Yeah, there's always been a second song. Canadian Girls, no need to shave our legs, that's cause we have one good summer. Appetite so big, we'll eat your popsicle. Oh, 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 oh. Pretty good. He launched a written complaint to student services, saying the students who played it result. Student services shut down Cartmel's request to move the video machines, but... It's an exciting lesson for varsity sports. Last off the Sounds great. Sounds great. College co-eds engaged in frolic in the spring and fellow class. And more importantly, the regular season's wind down the playoffs. It's a really cute shake of Nobody knows about the championship wishes. All right. News music. Naked News. One. Hello, I am Carl Garneau, and with me here is Giant Big Penis Pants and Kevin Martin. <laughs> if you're making plans for this upcoming summer to make a little money to cover next year's tuition, you may need to work a little harder. A piece of Edmonton's history will soon be gone 
forever. Affectionately dubbed the Rat Hole, this tunnel on 109th Street will be filled in by 2010. The results are in from Monday's health and dental referendum, and most students appear to be supporting Nate's mandatory policy. Student services shut down Cartmel's request to move the video game machines, but a sign will be put up asking students to tone it down. Well, it's time for a quick look at sports. Here's Kevin Martin. Thanks, Steve. Let's face it, March is an exciting month for varsity sports. Mascots emerge from their dens, college co-eds engage in frolicking spring pillow fights, and more importantly, the regular seasons wind down with playoffs looming. That is it for stress, emphasis, news, and sports. Weather is coming up after the break. Oh, wait, this just in. Uh-oh. I seem to have lost my pet. <laughs> How's the love life, Steve? <laughs> it's, it's all a blur, to be honest. I don't even remember how I got here. <laughs> Dang it! Look, I'm on stairs again, and my butt is not in a mode to do stairs today. I spent the evening relaxing and watched some TV. I took a nice nap, and I'm probably going to do a little bit of work and get to bed now. So, this is the end of the road for this vlog. Sweet dreams. Good morning. It's a very chilly Edmonton morning today. It's Friday and I'm going for my morning workout. On a scale of 1 to 10, if my butt was a 9 in pain yesterday, it's probably a 3 this morning. And in the next hour, it will be a 9 again. I survived my workout. I'm at school now. And I didn't pass out this morning, which is good. And this is the first morning that I don't feel like poop in like two weeks. So I'm really happy that I'm finally getting back in motion and I'm getting back into the groove of things. So get through today is an easy short day. I'm eating a salad and chocolate milk, which is supposed to be really good for you. And yeah, good morning, guys. Morning. I saw you waving in the back of my video the other day when I was editing it. That makes me laugh every time people do that. I know I worked out this morning, it was just really great and everything, but since I moved here, I basically have not eaten fast food at all. Like, this is like a month and a half, and I think I had like a poutine one time. And all my peeps wanted to head to the mall near our school, and I feel horrible because it's like, oh man, I just worked out. But I have not had like a hamburger in like a month and a half. It's been rough, and I think that I owe it to myself to have some junk in my body. But I have to put you back in my pocket because, you know, last time I went to that mall and they yelled at me. Oh, I thought you were going to mug me. <laughs> you, Craig just like ran up and I just saw black blur. I thought I was going to get mugged. Oh my goodness. I'm home. I had a good evening. Yeah, I hung out, watched some TV, made dinner. I had a big talk with my roommate. Um, yeah, it's been a good time. And I kind of realized today that I've spent a lot of days just hanging around the house after school. And I kind of feel like I need to get out and party up a bit or something because I'm feeling kind of like a shut-in lately. <laughs> In other news, tomorrow is quite a special day for my blog. What's the special occasion? You'll have to wait and find out. Good night.